supposed to be filmed in my office but as that is under a little bit of reconstruction and just a little bit of rearranging I thought that I would do this video here in my family room in front of my new couch sponsored by my credit card true story but redoing my office inspired me to do a what I don't buy anymore office edition for all the minimalists out there maybe those who work from home entrepreneurs or those that have the nine to five and have an office and just want to know what things they don't have to buy anymore. This is my personal list. There will probably be things on my list that you still purchase on yours and vice versa. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below of things that you do not buy anymore for your workspace. Let me know what you do for a living and things that you don't buy anymore to do your profession. But without any further ado, without any more blabbering, here are the things I no longer buy office edition. Number one is printer paper and ink cartridges. Why? Because I no longer have a printer. I have a printer at my day job and in the rare event that I need to print something off, I will do it at my work office. And let me tell you, if you don't know yet, ink cartridges are expensive. Paper is not so much expensive, but I always do feel bad when I buy a big batch of paper because nine times out of 10, what I print will one day be trash. And I just feel like I'm not really helping out the environment buying the big tubs of paper that I will use for maybe a couple months tops and then throw away or recycle. So number one, printer paper and ink cartridges. Number two is a desk calendar and a wall calendar. In the last few months, I've gotten used to putting everything I need in either my Google Calendar or the actual paper agenda that I take along with me. Side note to this number, I do have a very tiny little paper calendar that's on the corkboard in my office upstairs, but that's really just to remind me what day it is when I've forgotten what day it is. I don't actually write anything on that calendar. It's just really for show and it is decorative to the month it is displaying to me. Having everything either be in the Google Calendar or my paper planner that I take with me just makes it a lot easier to know that if there's something I knew I documented, it's either one or two places. My nine to five job does have a desk calendar, but I put only things that I need to know for work on that calendar, and then I have an outlook for work as well. I like to separate work business and my business. It just works better for me and hopefully for you too. Number three is coffee mugs because I am a girl and like pretty things. I seem to think whenever I go to a place that's selling cute coffee things that I need a new mug because I somehow convince my brain I will work better and be more productive if that ceramic mug on my desk looks different every single time. But I have gotten into the habit of keeping five. I have mugs in my kitchen that I keep, and if I'm going to get a new mug, I have to get rid of one of the five. And I love all the five right now. Unless, of course, one of those mugs was gifted to me. Hint, hint. <laughs> Number four are highlighter or pen sets. Again, the giddy girl in me loves stationery. If you were on this channel in August, I did a big back to school giveaway, and I loved it because I got to go to Target and just literally fill up a cart with planners and pens and stationery and stickers. And a lovely young lady from Canada won that giveaway. But I do not get highlighters or pen sets anymore just because I have what I need. My day job actually, the stock room purged everything just to make room for new stocks. So we're going with a new third party vendor. So they gave out just a bunch of pens and highlighters and said that we could keep them in our office or we could take them home. So now I have plenty of pens, plenty of highlighters to last a very long time and have no need to go buy any now. Number five are calendar stickers. Now, I love watching some of y'all decorate your planners, the Plan With Me videoers who can just take the 40 minutes and put stickers everywhere and they know everything that's going on. But I don't work like that. A, I'm not nearly as artistically creative. I can barely draw a straight line and a stick figure and I like to just have everything I need in blocks. If I were better at writing and calligraphy, I might be into it. And if anybody knows of a good planner, let me know down below because I will be looking into the 2018 planners. But calendar stickers are something I just don't buy because I rarely use them. I have to like really force myself to use it. It's not something I look forward to do with planning. Planning, I just want to get in and done. 
Um, I, I think if I've done a plan with me, I've only just filled out the calendar with like colorful pens. I never really had stickers. But again, that does not mean I wouldn't take them if Santa brought them. And number six, our new office clothes and shoes. A few weeks ago, I did a minimalist wardrobe tour. I will link it here. I cleaned my entire closet and made sure I had all the staples I needed for my day job, work life, teaching, everything. I made sure I had all things I needed. I organized my entire closet, like dress tops, pants, dresses, sweaters, etc. You can check that out. But cleaning my closet did show me that I have everything I need. There's nothing more that I need even though I love shoes and the cold weather's coming and I love boots much more than heels. I've laid out all of my shoes on the shelves and all my clothes are nice and neat and hung up and it just shows me that I have everything I need and don't need to buy anything more for the office. But anyway, those are my six things that I do not buy. I said five, I lied, I gave you a bonus of six. Six things I do not buy anymore office edition for all the minimalists out there. Once again, if you like these kind of videos, give them a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below of what you do for a living and what you no longer buy to do your job. And if you are watching this video unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you every time I upload a video or a new piece of content. Down below I also do have a mailing list. I send out letters either weekly or bi-weekly, just kind of giving you guys an update of what's going on or if you missed a video or something's happening or there's giveaways coming in the future. Check that out. There's a link down below if you want to sign up. It is in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fabulous weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.